Mark Sturman, the CEO of Atro, emailed us. I was too busy for data self-training. When I needed a new report, I just take an existing report and modify it to suit my needs. If I'll ever need it again, I do a save as. Sure, I could get training, but now I just muddle through it and I have what I want when I need it. I'm so happy. Many data self users have a similar experience. A data self demo is enough training to get them empowered. This video alone will get many of you empowered. Let me show another real case example. A client of ours was looking for a monthly sales, quantity sold, cost of sales, gross profit, and gross profit percentage by customer, salesperson, and product. It's a big report. Let's search for all of these keywords and see what we find. We don't find anything. There's no out-of-the-box report covering all of these things. Let's take some of these names, these keywords out of the search. Well, now we found many reports matching a subset of the, those keywords. And this one might be close. Let's check it out. There it is. We have customer, product, and many of the measures. It's almost there. We just need to add salesperson and cost of sales. How to go about it? First of all, my type of user license must have editing rights. And here it is, the edit, edit button. Let's click it to go into the edit mode. There it is. This is the edit mode page. On the left side, I find the data tab that shows dimensions and measures available. Please note that the production data self system has a lot more fields than the trial version. To modify a report, you pretty much need to drag and drop fields into the report area. So let's add salesperson. Salesperson is here. Let's expand it and pick salesperson and drag it between my customer and product on the rows uh, section. There it is, by customer, by salesperson, by product. Now I take cost of sales, which is the measure missing, and I drag and drop onto this measures area of the report, right in the middle. You know, right there, cost of sales is being added. If I want to change the order of these measures, I come to this measure shelf. I'm going to drag cost of sales between 
sales in gross profit right there in between. And right there, I just changed the order. That's it. That's my report. Now I can go to File and click Save As and Save as a new report. Now note the trial license does not allow us to save new reports. Based on our client base, editing reports like this will take care of about 70% of the custom reporting needs of an organization. If you know how to drag and drop, you can do a lot. Next, let's get out of this page. Next, please go to how to create new dashboards from scratch. Thanks for watching.